Hi, I'm uh, Doug Little with Wacom Technology. I'm the manager of public relations for Wacom. And I'd like to introduce you to our new Cintiq 12WX. It's one of our new interactive pen displays that's just come from Wacom. It was introduced in December. And uh, now we have three sizes of interactive pen displays. We've got the 12WX, which is $999. And then we feature two more interactive pen displays, the Cintiq 21UX, which is $24.99, and then the new Cintiq 20 WSX, which is uh, $19.99. So now we have three sizes, which is very amazing. And uh, it's just a really great way to work with uh, photos, uh, 2D, 3D storyboarding. Um, even uh, graphic artists will enjoy working with our new uh, Cintiq 12WX. As you can see, it's a, a very small, uh, low profile size. So it's uh, portable as well, if you'd like. Um, it actually features a really cool stand. Uh, you can actually lay it down flat as well as, as put it into your lap if you'd like. So uh, just a very, very comfortable way to work. And that's the key to the uh, Cintiq actually. It uh, provides creative control, super comfortable, and obviously it boosts your productivity amazingly. So obviously here at the PMA show we have a lot of people interested in uh, photography and uh, working directly on screen. Um, so the key to the Cintiq is um, just the ability to do a lot of uh, fun things within Photoshop. And we'll just open up uh, Photoshop here. Actually, let's see, sorry about that. Quick bridge. And uh, we'll first demonstrate um, pressure sensitivity. All of our pens are pressure sensitive. And what I've done here is on the left hand side, I've actually changed this uh, touch strip, as we call it, to uh, brush size. So as you can see, I can actually change the dynamics of the brush size. And what, of our, what our touch strips and express keys do is they allow you to work easier, faster, and there's no cerebral gymnastics going on with, a, with an interactive pen display. It's just a very, very simple way to work. So if I uh, tone down the brush a little bit, as you can see, when I draw very softly, I get a soft line. As I increase the pressure, I get a much darker line. And what that allows you to do, it, it just allows you to work with photographs much more accurately. Um, with a mouse, you would never get those features. But within Photoshop and other programs like Corel Painter or Illustrator, pressure sensitivity becomes a big deal. And that is uh, very important with working with photos. So we'll just close this here. We'll say no. As you can see, it's also very easy to navigate with an interactive pen display. Uh, I don't have to use a mouse, and I can work directly on screen, so it's just very, very simple. This is a black and white image that has some bad artifacts on it, as you can see. Um, so I'm just going to take uh, the spot healing brush here as an example. I'll pick that. And here I'll increase my brush size, and then I can just remove those artifacts very easily, as you can see. And then here we have something on this guy's cheek as well. I can actually zoom in on this side, so I've set the express or the touch strip on the right-hand side to zoom, which, as you can see, is very simple to do. And then uh, this little artifact that's on his uh, left cheek here, I can just remove that very gently by pressing gently on the uh, on the brush. So just a very very simple way to work. Um, again, it's all about creative control, being able to work directly on screen with a pen, and. Uh, it's just the only way right now to uh, get really involved in the, the work that you're doing. Okay, all of Wacom's uh, technology works on what's called electromagnetic resonance technology. So what is happening is a light radio wave is being emitted off of the tablet surface and uh, capacitors within the pen actually pick up the radio wave and they talk back and forth to each other. So the neat thing about Wacom products is we have no batteries or no cords within our pens. So they last virtually forever. And uh, so that's one of the 
key elements of Wacom technology. All our competitors, for example, carry a battery. Obviously, our technology is patented as well, so that's a big deal. But it just makes it that much simpler to use. So, as you can see, when you hover the pen, with a Wacom pen, the uh, cursor follows wherever the pen is. When you press the surface, you actually, actually initiate a command. And um, that's really how our technology works. Uh, there are two buttons on the pen as well, which also can be customizable. And uh, they can fit any need that you want. So for example, you could set them to double click, right click, uh, undo. Whatever you want is available right there. You can go into the Wacom tablet properties, for example, if you go into the system preference file so we can click on that we can go to the Wacom tablet properties and here you can see our very powerful driver software so I was just discussing a second ago that the uh, pens were set for double click and right click and um, that is uh, set right there and then we can uh, go over into the actual express keys and touch strips and you can see that there are a variety of things that uh, we can set to meet your needs so again uh, scrolling, zooming, uh, changing brush size, uh, creating uh, a way to open up your web browser all those things can be set on the express keys or touch strips of a Cintiq or one of our Intuos uh, tablets which is our desktop tablet for professionals and it just makes it uh, that much easier to be productive in your work. Great. Thanks.